Inside courtroom R of the Boulder County Justice Center, two miles from the football field where he achieved some of his greatest athletic success, former CU football standout Justin Bannon completed his dizzying fall from grace. In October of 2019, Bannon shot a woman in the shoulder inside Black Lab Sports in Boulder. According to the arrest affidavit, Bannon was high on drugs at the time and claimed the Russian mafia was after him. Last September, a jury convicted him of attempted murder. My name is Stuart Cables. During sentencing Thursday morning, the victim's lawyer read a statement from her in which she asked the judge to give Bannon minimal jail time, but maximum time for drug treatment. I do not believe he targeted me personally, and I believe his judgment was severely hindered by drugs, alcohol, and a myriad of football injuries. After graduating from CU in 2001, Bannon played for five NFL teams, including the Broncos, over a 12-year NFL career. There is no doubt in my mind that Justin has lingering effects of concussions and CTE. A former Broncos teammate, Mitch Unrein, spoke on Bannon's behalf at sentencing, suggesting that the shooting at Black Lab Sports was in part the result of brain damage that Bannon suffered during his football career. I can remember every training camp when we were hitting a lot in practice and Justin myself talking about how bad our headaches would be. But during his remarks, Bannon did not mention his drug use or brain trauma. Words can't begin to describe how sorry I am. Instead, he accepted full responsibility for his actions and repeatedly apologized for what he had done. I'm just so sorry to everybody. And I plan on having my life come to this point, so I just feel like a failure, and I'm sorry. The pre-sentencing report had recommended a 32-year prison sentence. Prosecutors asked for 26 years. The 16 years that Bannon was actually given is the minimum sentence he could have received. Kim and Alex. So interesting. Interesting to hear from the victim and her point of view as well, Matt. Yeah, she said uh, several times in her statement that was read by her lawyer, Kim, that she believes firmly in restorative justice, and she asked for mercy for just Justin Bannon. And with 16 years, he certainly has an opportunity to change his life around yes. for the better. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you.